Welcome to Unboxing Tech. Today, I have the Galaxy S22 Ultra in the new pine green color, and with it, I have the Xenon case lineup from Clayco. Let's get started. So this is Clayco's Xenon case. The back cover is made entirely of flexible TPU, which is great for shock absorption and keeping your device lightweight. It has a very smooth and soft feeling all around, and as this particular case is opaque, it has no danger of discoloration. The Clayco Xenon case is a two-piece case, so in addition to the back cover, it also comes with a separate front piece. The color of the frames are made to match the color of the case. Let's start the installation process by removing the protective films. So the Xenon case, as you can see, does come with a built-in screen protector. It's a simple plastic sheet that's connected to a polycarbonate frame. The sticker in the center is a protective film for the adhesive dot that's supposed to allow for usage of the in-display fingerprint reader. Carefully pull it off, making sure not to get dust on it. Before putting on the front screen, make sure your phone is completely dust-free. Then just snap on the frame over the phone. The adhesive circle on the front will automatically adhere itself to the screen. The screen protector does have cutouts around the speaker and the front camera to ensure full functionality of your device. Next, equip the back cover over the frame, making sure to fully envelop the sides and just push it into the designated crevices. Squeeze in all sides for that perfect fit. And here's the finished product. Checking the cutouts, I see everything is in its right place. And the S Pen is easily accessible. The buttons are fully covered and highly responsive without much effort. Now, the fingerprint reader wasn't always 100% reliable, but it does work as intended. I would recommend tweaking the sensitivity settings a bit to make it easier to use. Aside from the screen protector, the case itself has a lift around the front screen for extra protection, as well as around the camera. I do find it curious that they left this part of the back camera open. I've dealt with a lot of P-shaped camera cutouts, which are fine, but this one... I might put a sticker in that open area or something, just to protect it against scratches. Overall, it's a great protective case, and it also feels good in the hand, and it is very grippy as well. Plus, it is wireless charger compatible. To remove the case, start at the bottom corner and just lift the TPU cover over the edge. The rest of the case should come off easily, and the front frame will easily pop off as well. If you want to reuse it in the future, keep it in a place where the dust will not get around the fingerprint reader. Here's how the green S22 Ultra looks when paired with the other colors. I like the dual tone effect of the case and frame, giving the device more dimension. Overall, while this is a two-piece case, the TPU makes it light enough that it's not such a strain to hold. It is a little bulkier compared to single-piece cases, but that's the price you pay for extra protection. This lavender is my favorite, so pretty. And that was the Clayco Xenon case for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Thanks for hanging out with me until the end! I'll see y'all next time. Bye!